Knobbox Dance presents For me, new media art is still very hard to define because simply it's just to, for me, it just refer to a new art form. And this new art form is still evolving. But um, let's say based on the Wikipedia, that new media arts um, especially has to refer to the artwork that create with new media technology. And so it means like it's a form of art that deal with computer, like it has to be computational and it relies on computer for uh, redistribution. I guess dancers often feel maybe inferior uh, when working with uh, new media artists. And even new media artists sometimes feel inferior in working in the theater mm. um, because they, they, they know they feel they are not the center, or it's not their, um, they are not the center, or that is not their expertise. And so they feel very insecure or not, not certain uh, when, you know, like working in that situation. So they, uh, sometimes they feel they are, uh, as you call, sub-material. But, but, um, but I will see this question another in another approach, which is um, in my actually how based on my working experience is that I I often um, you know like like to walk into somewhere I really don't know. For example, I walk into the new media art I really don't know about them. You know, I don't have a much history on that before. And later on, I work um, with physicists that I didn't have a lot of. Uh, expertise on that as well but what I enjoy very much is like when, when you walk into something that you don't know and you are actually applying uh, what I'm feeling is like I'm trying to apply what I know uh, from my history so if I'm coming I'm coming from dance so I have to uh, apply what I know from my experience as a dancer into something I don't know and of course, uh, uh, you mentioned about graphics, animation, sculpture, visual arts, and, and uh, fundamentally we are looking for things, we are looking for the same thing. We are dealing with time, space, and energy. Mm. And, and dancer, especially, we are expertise on movements and motions. Mm -hmm. And the body, uh, body motions is the most difficult things to design because it's so complicated. Uh, if you see the ro robotic design, you, you will know like a simple movement like holding a cup needs a lot of programmations because it's, it's not just that simple. And, and I guess that's uh, most of the time dancers feel, uh, uh, feel confused uh, yeah, when they start. Uh -huh. Yes. Because, uh, because they will think like, why computer or programmation needs so much time? Because body can easily do that. You Everybody know? has body, yeah. Yes, because uh, uh, dancers are very organic and then they, they can do things uh, very quick. Yeah. They can invent things, they can produce very quick, but not the program. Um, so um, let's say, uh, instead of seeing uh, each other as sub material, maybe less. It depends on in which circumstances you are working in. For example, uh, in my work, uh, dancer for sure, um, dancer is still uh, has an equal position. I would say it has the dancer has equal position than stage set, than light, than sound. So it doesn't become sub like that, you know, uh, inferior. And then, or if I engage some uh, video, I will say it has trying to be as the same, you know, each one is the individual and we try to make the choreography together. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, uh, of course, I, I guess, uh, for example, video artists has their own logic about motion or mm -hmm. about their or uh, movement and then they design differently. And... Um, I, I guess it really depends on who you work with and you, you, which circumstances. 
Uh, and sometimes, uh, um, for sure, if you work in the gallery, uh, you have to uh, maybe, I guess it's more um, like, um, like Marshall Luhan uh, said, talks about, you have to re redistribute it, your senses. Mm. Uh, so each sense, each sense, like your hearing, your like looking, your visual or your touch, it's it's um it's a part of you, and then you have to distribute it. For example, uh, when there's no um, with the video, you engage your eyes much more than your your touch, for example. And with the sound, you engage your hearing much more than your eyes. Mm -hmm. So these these uh, five senses or seven senses are are trying to work on the different uh, proportions constantly. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes you, you have more and sometimes you have less. And sometimes this has, touchy has more and sometimes it's less. Mm -hmm. So dance for me, dancer on stage is the same. Sometimes dancer has to be stronger and then sometimes uh, the sound, acoustic part has to go stronger. Mm -hmm. And and doesn't mean that you you are uh, you are um, compromised the, the, the existence of the dancer. It's just... Uh, in the end, we are, you know, we, for audience or for um, uh, for dancer as well. It's, it's all these uh, different senses. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. the different senses. You 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 engage different senses in a different timing. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this is how I see these questions. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a collaboration. It's a negotiation as well. Right, negotiation. Oh, I love yeah. that. Say no to the boxes now is, um, I guess not to stay, uh, not, not to, uh, for me, it's n n n that box for me now is really like uh, the, um, the, the self-centering, centering of the mm -hmm. art, art world. Like um, not to, you know, not to do something um, weird <laughs> in the name <laughs> of art. <laughs> yeah, so it's like that, that's self centering. Uh, like, of course, uh, I guess each artist has its own power and very strong individual voices. But now, uh, as I see that th those individual voices has to start to negotiate also with what is uh, those, what I, what I see around is this, in environmental crisis or political crisis mm -hmm. and we have to to be aware of that that art art uh, or theater is not a, a closed world that we only deal with our artwork and and we have to aware of uh, 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 much more about uh, let's say decentralize ourselves Thanks for taking your time to tune into Dance Behind the Screen, a bi-monthly interview series where we go behind the screen to question process, product, and social media. Be sure to follow us on social media, at KNOW Box Dance. See you next time and don't forget to say no to the box.